Hi guys, Janine Ortiz here. I, I wanted to show you another quick tip for taking the exam for students. So there is an extension that mostly middle school kids might like to use, but some high school kids, maybe some kids um, who get extra time might like to use this Chrome extension called Web Paint. So if you go to the Chrome store, and in the upper left hand corner of the Chrome store there will be a search bar where you can search for the extension called Web Paint and you're gonna download it as an extension I've already got it that's why mine says read it but if you don't have it it will say add to Chrome so you click add to Chrome it's going to ask are you sure you want to add this to Chrome and of course you'll say yes so all extensions show up on your taskbar up here at the top of the screen. By the way, I'm in Chrome. I only use Chrome. It works best with Canvas. You should tell students to do that as well. Eventually we'll be getting a lockdown browser and that will be their browser for testing. But for now, have them use Chrome. So I have a lot of extensions here. The one I'm looking for is Web Paint and it's a small they're all small, but it's a little painter's palette. So to use it, you choose the pencil tool, and then you click on, it's gonna default at black. So you're gonna click on black. There'll be a slider over here to choose different colors. Um, the student can choose whatever color they like. I like blue. And then you can change, it defaults also to 5% as the size of the pencil tool. So they may want it a little thicker, maybe 25%. The idea is students can write on the web. It doesn't work on every website, um, but it does work with Canvas. So when the student is taking the test, <clears throat> they'd have to, this is how to quit, by the way, in the bottom corner, this little arrow to the right means to quit, and that will erase everything that they've done. So when they're in the test, I'm just going to go into preview mode of the quiz, reminding you where to find it. And I'm just going to open the quarter six, uh, sixth grade rather, quarter exam. And I'm going to go into preview mode so I can see what it looks like. Sometimes these quizzes are small if the text is not large enough. Students can zoom by using commands plus or control plus to zoom in. Notice there's a lot of white space over here. That's because the navigation is open, but you can click here to close that. It makes uh, for a bigger screen. So sometimes that's easier, even if you, ha if you have students with vision issues, etc. So here's a question. Students can open up Web Paint choose the pencil tool it's going to remember the last size that they chose and this way they can cross out answers they could put question marks if they don't know what a word is um, they can call the teacher over over in the corner here oh there is an eraser tool sorry if they want to erase things they just bring out the eraser over in the corner there's also a little tab that students can mark if they have a question. You might be busy with another student. Um, before they hit submit on a test, it will remind them if they've marked any of these tabs or if they've left any of the questions empty. It will allow them to submit without filling in all the answers, but of course it will remind them and in the right hand margin, it will show them which ones they've left blank but I'm in blown up mode, so those notes will be at the very bottom of the test, and it will tell them which questions they still have left. So good luck on the test, and I hope you decide to download Web Paint.